The Umnagoth River flows through the town of Donkey towards Bangladesh and remains almost squeaky clean throughout this journey, making it one of the cleanest rivers in all of Asia. This river is just crazy. I mean, I'm sitting here and I can see the bottom of the riverbed. It must be heaven for fishermen because they could, for the first time, actually sit and just choose the fish they want. They'd be like, okay, I'm gonna get these two pomfret, one lobster, uh, yeah, and a baby shrimp. <laughs> but what makes this see-through river so clean? Let's find out. Very fortunately, this river, you know, throughout its approximately 82 kilometers journey, from where it started till it uh, exit to Bangladesh, it did not pass through any human settlement. Aha! So this river has remained so pristine because it's been socially distancing from humans all these years. So no humans means no waste. Okay, okay Umnagot River, message received and understood. The water quality in our country and in the world at large it's going down because, you know, the, the kind of pollution that we human beings had generated. But here, I think we are a bit far from the mainland, so our river quality is much better. Just how clean is it? Well, the River Thames of England is also considered one of the cleanest rivers in the world. The amount of oxygen dissolved in its water, which is seen as a measure of water quality, is 7.5 milligrams per litre. And in the Umnagot River, it is a whopping 8.3 milligrams per litre. While the bird's eye view of this magnificent river already went viral on social media, we're yet to find the fish eye view of this amazing river. And I know just the right person to help us with that. Meet Jason. You came here how many years ago? Uh, so we came here in 2011. Uh, My God, and it was as pristine as ever, right? Nothing has changed for the last, ever since I've been here for the last 11 years changed. Now I scuba myself, but I've never heard of scubaing in a river. It's and rare, right? Exactly. Whenever anyone asks us about scuba diving, they think like it needs, only needs to be done in seawater. What we want to do is we want to promote it in freshwater diving. Now, if you still haven't figured out what I meant by fish eye view, I meant literally showing you what the fish would see. So now that I'm geared up, there is only one thing left to do. Snorkel away! 